I'd like to now introduce uh, Sunny Kirsch, and Sunny um, is going to tell her story uh, because her son, Creed, was also one who uh, actually was diagnosed with pandas. But Sunny? Hi. I, like many of you, had a plan. A plan for my family, a plan for three children, a handsome husband with sparkling white teeth, and the white, white picket fence, right? Um, but I think the speaker who sums up my experience with that plan, that plan of the perfect life, is maybe not such a great philosopher, but he is great in many ways. Mike Tyson said it actually surprisingly pretty profoundly. Everyone, as he said, has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. As I look back, and as I think about our journey through pandas, it's quite surreal. Even as I was preparing for this day, uh, this day of awareness, I was thinking, was this really our life? I can remember first talking to our doctor, our pediatrician, about Creed being a little different when our son was around the age of four or five. At that time, it seemed pretty simple. Creed was unique. Creed still is unique. He um, liked his pancakes cut a certain way. He couldn't control his outbursts in pre-K. He was an intense five-year-old kid. We expected that as the years passed, he would mature and get better. And as the years passed, he did the opposite. It would get worse, and it would get a little better. Then it would get worse. It was literally like we would take one step forward and two steps back. It seemed, as we look back now, that it was a mod podge of symptoms that didn't really fit together, didn't make sense when, they looked, when you looked at them on a paper. I would say one of the worst symptoms that Creed had was lack of sleep. So I mean that very literally. So my 10-year-old child did not sleep. I would lay down next to Creed at 3 or 4 in the morning, and I would try to hold him close to my body, squeezing him. And I can tell you it was literally like he was electrically charged. Like there was a constant, like you're hearing actually, like this constant bzzz in his body. He would cuddle up next to me and he would apologize for not being able, able to sleep. <clears throat> As he whispered in my ear to ask for the tenth time, Mommy, did you lock all the doors in the windows? <laughs> 